Hey, Alan here for Holding Shop Fitters. So, Smith & Wesson, the well-known American gun company, has done some very interesting things over the last year or so. One of the interesting things they've done, I just discovered uh, the other day when I was driving into work. They actually have some radio advertisements. You don't hear a lot of radio advertisements for gun companies, but there they are. Smith & Wesson on the radio. Product-wise, they've done some very interesting things, and they've kind of gone outside their usual uh, repertoire of doing things. They kicked out the CSX. They kicked out the Shield Plus with higher capacity magazines. They chambered their EZ series in 30 Super Carry, along with the Shield series. So they've done some interesting stuff. Well, now we have a brand new product from them. The Equalizer, that's what they call it, the Equalizer. Looks a little bit like a Shield Plus, a few differences we're going to talk about. Actually, not a Shield Plus, but an easy shield is what it looks like. This one's chambered in 9mm. Looks like an EZ. Shares with the EZ its basic construction features. Grip safety on the back, thumb safety, also models available without that. Reversible magazine release. Same, relatively easy cycling action. But from there, there are a few other things that are a little bit different. If you look at the slide, the first thing that kind of jumps at you is you notice they have some very deep front cocking serrations up here. Makes it very easy to run from up there. It's a good touch. The sights are a little bit different. They're basically the same, three white dots, but a couple minor differences. They do have this one set up so you can drift it left or right. Actually, you could drift either one. This one has a set screw. But something else they did in keeping with the modern trend of things, optics ready. Uh, looks like kind of a medium-sized optics footprint, but optics ready like so many things out there. They uh, changed the serrations on the back just a little bit, make them a little more positive. On the very back, these two create some very shallow ears, which makes it pretty easy to get a hold of and pull the slide back. Grip safety works the same way. Has the same action as the EZ series. The EZ series is a hammer-fired gun. It is not a striker-fired gun, but the hammer is not exposed. The hammer is all inside. This gives it a short, light, single-action trigger pull. Very, very easy weapon to shoot. Uh, contributes to being able to shoot pretty quickly with it. Yeah, you'll see some of that on the video that we did. They changed the uh, stippling on the grip a little bit. It's a little more aggressive. It's not, it's not overly so, but it's a little more aggressive. Uh, maybe wrapped a little bit differently. Feels pretty good. But you look at this thing and you say, wait a minute. It kind of looks like an EZ, but there's, there's something about it that's other than what we've just mentioned, there's something about it that's different. What's different? The grip. The grip is shorter. And you say, well, why in the world would they make it the grip shorter? Well, these tricky guys at Smith & Wesson have set this gun up to use the Shield Plus magazines. Now, if you're not familiar with the Shield Plus, the Shield Plus comes with two magazines, a 10-rounder and a 13-rounder. And a nice touch that they did on the magazines was they anchored the uh, the sleeve on the 13-rounder that makes up the grip difference. They anchored that in place so it doesn't float around. So the Shield Plus comes with these, 10 and 13, as opposed to the normal capacity of 7 and 8. Well, what they've done with the equalizer is they've made the equalizer grip a little bit shorter so it will take that 10-round Shield Plus magazine. And it will take the 13-round Shield Plus magazine, which, of course, makes it just... This is, this is closer to the length of the original EZ Shield right there. But these are not easy load magazines. They're the Shield Plus magazine, same mags. These fit right in a Shield Plus, work just fine. Shield Plus magazine works just fine. But they, did, they went one step further, and they gave us a 15-round magazine with this weapon should also work in the Shield Plus. That gives you a little bit extra length and, of course, extra capacity. So, three magazines. 10, 13, 15. These are not, repeat not, the Easy Load magazines. If you remember the Easy series, they have a little tab on the side of the magazines in, the, in any of the calibers, 389 or 30 Super Carry. You grab the tab, pull the follower down, load them up. Not so here. So these are a little tougher to load, but they thought of us. 
With the gun, you get an Uplula magazine loader. The magazine loader is going to be real handy with that 15 rounder. Let you push that follower down. These two, not so bad to load. This one, a little tough, especially down around four, round 14, round 15. A little bit tougher to load. This comes in very handy. So with this gun, you get optics ready, three magazines, 15, 13, 10, and a loader. That's kind of a nice touch. The shorter grip makes it, of course, particularly with the 10 round capacity magazine, very easy weapon to conceal. Again, you can get a thumb safety or without. Given that it's optics ready, you can run it with the sights you have or you can put your, your desired optic on it. So it has a lot of very modern features. Their literature on this refers to it as a micro compact. Now I'm gonna take issue with that. I don't think it's a micro compact. Uh, it's a compact. We, we can, I think we can accurately call it a compact, but, I, but calling it a micro compact, I don't know, it's, it's not that small. It's not a really small pistol. But it's not a bad thing. Pistols like this with more of a, a longer type slide and barrel assembly and a slightly shorter grip combine two very wonderful things. The shorter grip makes them very easy to conceal. The slightly longer slide tends to make them reliable and also tends to make them easy to shoot, whether you're running an optic or not. So it's a good combination of features. It's a, it's, it's a very interesting platform. It's a very interesting uh, change from some of their normal ways of doing things. And it's an interesting blend of the Shield Plus and the EZ Shield into something that gives you a lot of the EZ Shield uh, features, most notably of which is it's very easy to rack the slide while at the same time giving you the higher capacity of the Shield Plus. Will they make this in the other calibers, 30 Super Carry or 380? Eh, it seems likely that they could. There's no reason why they couldn't. This platform adapts to those two calibers pretty readily. All they got to do is put the same uh, features on the slide for the 380 series. So I kind of expect they'll probably do that. If you like the EZ and you like its ability to, to cycle very easily, this is a natural progression for you from the basic guns. If you want higher capacity, and occasionally we get questions from people who look at the EZs and saying, is there a bigger magazine for them? Well, in the regular line, there is not. But now we can go all the way up to 15 rounds with this, with the equalizer. So it's a nice, uh, it's a nice setup. Very good... I think, very good marketing strategy on their part to give you all three magazine capacities. You got really good uh, flexible capability there. If you need 15, you got them. You can carry the 10 in the gun, make it as easy, as small as possible to carry. If you carry a reload, and you should, you can carry the 13 or the 15, whichever one to your taste and, and how you're going to carry it. The fact that they give you the up Lula loader with it is a classy touch because the bigger capacity mags are going to be harder to load. Giving you this with it so you don't have to go actually buy it is a classy touch. It's very nice. And they gave you a quality product. These things work really, really well. They're one of the best ones out there. So they've done a lot of homework as far as putting this gun together and making it a practical platform for a modern shooter, whether you're carrying it concealed or whether you just want to go to the range and shoot it. Very comfortable gun to shoot. We shot it this morning. Sights looked like they were pretty close. We didn't try to shoot anything super small with it, but worked fine. Uh, very comfortable. Doesn't beat you up. Uh, these guns, because of how they're built, have a slightly heavier slide in the 9mm caliber, which contributes to being very, very light recoil. Takedown is identical to the original series guns. You lock the slide back, rotate the lever down, pull the slide off. Take the barrel out, take the recoil spring and guide out. Clean everything, put it back together. So it's a very simple system. These are a little deceiving. A lot of people look at them. They think they're striker fired. I mentioned that they're hammer fired. Because they're hammer fired, you end up with a cocked hammer. You've got the grip safety, which keeps it safe. If you drop it, nothing can happen. Everything's locked in place until the safety's disengaged. You got a tiny little bump at the bottom, at the back behind the trigger there, which prevents trigger over travel. But the trigger itself is very crisp. I'm not sure what the poundage is on it. I don't care what the poundage is on it. It feels good. It handles well when you're shooting it. That's good enough for me. 
Uh, so, brand new product from Smith & Wesson to be released pretty soon after you see this video or about the time you do see this video. The Equalizer. 9mm in the test version we have here. Three magazines, 10, 13, and 15. Loader included. The usual Smith & Wesson lifetime maintenance guarantee. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to have these. So if you're interested in them, check with us always, as, as we always say, check with us for price and availability, but we're going to have them. Should be a pretty popular product. If you like the Easy Series, you need more or want more capacity, here you go. So uh, pretty good setup. Smith & Wesson Equalizer, brand new product from them. So there you go. That's what we have for this time around. We thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters.